Do you want to get some design ideas for a 2,000 square feet home? located on a narrow lot? If you said yes, stay with me because I'm gonna show you what we did for this specific project. Hi guys, my name is Alini and this is my channel. Here I share everything about our projects, some design ideas and a little bit about construction as well. So if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing. So let's talk about this home. Um, it's not a small home, it's a 2,000 square feet home and the lot is very narrow. So I'm gonna show you the size of the lot and how we made that work. So this is the lot. The lot is 34.95 meters by 10 meters and a bit. So in Imperial that is about 114 feet long and 10 and a half feet wide. So it is not a huge lot and our clients, they had a pretty big list of what they wanted to add to their home. So when we first start designing a home, the first thing we do before looking at any inspirational photos or anything, we do a little bit of study. So we usually study the site. We have to study the rules governing that property. That will tell us how tall a building can be, how far from the property line it has to be, how much of lot coverage we can, we can have in that site. So if you have any questions about that, there is a video um, on my channel where I talk about how we start designing a home. That will give you a little bit of more information and I will leave that on the card. So for this lot, when we looked at the setback requirements, that means how far the building had to be from the property line, um, we were surprised by how far that had to be. About five feet from the property line. So we had to have that on all sides except for a garage. So the garage could be actually aligned with the property line, but the entire home would have to be set back five feet from the property line. Now, just pay attention to the list of requirements that came from the clients. They wanted a place for a two-car garage. They wanted three bedrooms, three bathrooms, a nice living area, a nice dining area, a nice kitchen. One of the bedrooms had to have a walk-in closet and an ensuite and they also wanted a home office, a TV room, and I think that's it. And they initially wanted everything on the main floor. They wanted a bungalow house, a one-story home. Due to all the site requirements, we were not able to do that. We just didn't have enough room. There was a maximum amount of site coverage that we can use in a lot. And if we added everything to the main floor, we would go beyond that maximum area. So we had to come up with a solution and have a few things on the upper floor. So let's take a look at how we located things in this home and all the thoughts behind the conceptual floor plan for this house. So the first thing we did was to locate the garage. So the garage we located right here on this corner. And according to the city bylaw, we could actually have the garage aligned with the property line, but we also wanted a little bit of a, a roof overhang. So we actually placed the garage wall 20 centimeters away from the property line. So we could have that overhang. As you enter the home right here, this is the entrance, um, you are gonna find the living area located on this long area right here. It is pretty long. Now, why is it so long? It is because we didn't have enough room to have a wide open living area. We needed to find a place for two bedrooms and two bathrooms in the main floor 
plus a staircase and basically this area here was exactly what was left for us to work with. To make the air a little bit more comfortable and not looking like a long corridor, we added some textures to the wall, we added some high windows and also some millwork to bring a little bit of warmth to that space. Now we needed a place for a staircase. We could have located the staircase within the living area, but that would create a separation and our clients, they did not want to see that. They want the living area, dining room and kitchen to be all together in an open concept design. So we ended up locating the staircase right here on the opposite side of the living area and close to the access to the two bedrooms that we have here on the main floor. On this side we have their kids bedroom right here and on the opposite side we have the master bedroom right here. Now their kid needs a bathroom for himself and they also needed a powder room but they didn't have enough room for both so we ended up creating a gas bathroom that could be also used by their kid so we ended up creating a nice bathroom right here in this area for guests and for their kid the bathroom is located in an area of easy access from the living room and also from their kids bedroom and it's also a little bit hidden by a custom shelf unit that we designed. We created this beautiful custom made shelf unit to add a separation between living area and private corridor but still leaving the bathroom accessible to guests. Now you might ask, why did you place the bathrooms and the bedrooms and all the private areas on that side of the lot? The reason for that is because right here on this side of the lot, they would get the morning sunshine, which they really liked it. So basically that's why everything, all the bedrooms actually are on this side of the property because they would get a lot of morning sunshine right there now here from this kitchen right there we have access to the super cool outdoor kitchen where they're gonna have a sink a built-in barbecue a little bit of counter space and also a table for four people now let's go to the upper floor so as you go up the staircase right here you get to the upper floor and the first thing you are going to see is actually this little office space they didn't need a big office it was just for one person they don't work from home but the wife will eventually start working from home so we needed a little bit of a, a small office area for her so we created the office area right here again so she would get a little bit of uh, morning sunshine so the computer would be located here we have lots of counter space for her and on this corner we created a small coffee station they both love coffee they drink coffee throughout the day basically so they wanted a little bit of a, a small coffee station upstairs so if they are working they can grab a coffee if they are watching tv they would be able to grab a coffee without having to go all the way to the kitchen now on the opposite side of the office we have this nice tv room the tv would be located right here we have a place for a three seat sofa plus two armchairs this tv room wouldn't only be used as a tv room it would be a place for them to also play some games so the husband and their kid they really love playing games and the wife not so much so we created a place for them to entertain themselves with some games and we also added a TV to the living area so the wife can watch her TV series privately 
Now also here on the upper floor, we have a guest bathroom and also a guest bedroom. So we located the guest bathroom right here so it would be easy to access from the TV room and also from the office and also from the guest bedroom. Now we place the guest bedroom and the guest bathroom upstairs so guests would have their own place when they come to visit. Now coming off the bedroom, the guest bedroom, we have this nice balcony right here and another balcony right there coming off the TV room. The clients have a pretty nice view from their backyard. So we thought that adding two balconies on the upper floor would be a nice touch so they could enjoy their beautiful view. Now as we develop a floor plan and we get the floor plan to a more advanced stage, we start working on exterior. We work on the exterior 3D model to get to a nice, beautiful, functional and attractive home. Now to finish this video, let's take a look at the exterior of this house. Now I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I hope this video could give you some ideas of what you can do with your narrow lot and if you have any questions or comments please leave your thoughts on the comments below, like this video and consider subscribing. Thank you guys and I'll see you on my next one, bye bye!